Careful. Not safe in this part of Oridon. You walk the road in fair at your own risk. Plague. Coin's the only reason I'm here. My crew is under contract. The town alchemist has been tending the sick. In a local woman's barn, of all places. If you're determined to enter town, I won't stop you. Just mind yourself, here? We're losing her! Amour, bring me that salve! Quickly! This is the loss of the salve, sir. I hope it's enough. We can get more later. Hurry! Yes, just like that. Apply the salve. Please don't let me die. She's alive. That's all that matters. Take her to quarantine. hear about the plague? It's really catching on. Sorry. Sorry, this, this is about my fourth day without sleep. Are you feeling well? Can I help you? Um, not long. My son was its first victim, bless his heart. I'm not really a healer, just the town alchemist. But I couldn't just sit by and watch people suffer. Sallow weed aloe. It seems to hold back the illness for a time. I apply it to my patients as soon as they show symptoms. If their condition worsens, though, we put them in quarantine. Actually, we just ran out of sallowweed. A big patch grows just outside of town. Will you gather some? Amor's already got the next batch of salve prepped. Just need the sap to get back to work. Sallowweed's pretty potent stuff. Gathering it should be safe enough. As long as you don't eat it, you'll be fine. I think. Fair used to be a mining town. The workings are still down there. After folks started to get sick, we wanted to keep the worst away from the uninfected. So we put them in quarantine down below. No, not at all. <laughs> Amor and I go down regularly to care for them. We set up a contract with the mercenaries to keep everyone safe. This'll all turn out fine in the end. I'm going to. Probably shouldn't be proud of that. Thank you. 
Ah, you're back. Good. Sorry, just trying to stay on my feet. Wonderful. I'll have Amor make up another batch of aloes straight away. I hope it wasn't any trouble for you. Oh. They did? That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Hmm? I'm sorry, my mind is drifting. Very tired. Some of the local farm workers must have been touched by the plague. I'll send Amor and some of the mercenaries to treat them. Thank you for telling me. Yes, actually. If you could pass out the aloe to some of the villagers, I'll be able to send Amor to treat those farmhands straight away. New patients popping up. Every day. Let's see. Have my list here. Nelulin, who should be out fixing the sheds about now. Ayerel, no doubt hiding in his home. And Arninwe. She owns this farm, probably just outside the barn here. Those are the next victims on the list. I'll make the new batch right away, sir. Make this batch extra potent, Amor. It's ready, sir. I put an extra dose in. Here you go. one who discovered Vicereath Peladil's involvement with the Veiled Heritance. Hey there. I'm sick? Stars. I suppose it was only a matter of time. It is my barn, after all. Thank you. Here I thought my biggest problem was keeping the farm. Now I'm worried about catching the plague. The stars move, I suppose. I'm collecting letters. We give them to the guards to pass to family in quarantine. Deliver any for you? Oh, of course, sorry. Uh, my younger sister is in there. Has been for almost a week. I just hope my letters cheer her up a bit. Oh no. Only Hendil and Amor go down there, really. The guards go inside sometimes to leave food and my letters, but they don't go much past the entrance. They won't let anyone else go in there. Thanks. Me too. I'm off to collect more letters. Stars protect you, friend. What are you doing in my home? Don't you know who I am? It's about time. My family helped to found this star's forsaken town. You'd think I'd be one of the first to get treated. You've done what you came to do. Get out and don't dawdle. Bad enough I have to deal with these dirt farmers. Now I'm dealing with their diseases too?
sorry, help you? I've uh, got a lot of work to do around here. Sav? What? Uh, does that mean I've got the plague? Stars above. A mother won't be able to bear this. Hendil's done so much for this town, all I can do is trust him. Wish this wasn't happening to me, though. My mother, Velatos. She's at her home nearby, waiting for word about my brother. He's down in the cave, waiting for Hendil to come up with a cure. It'll be all right. Thank you. I suppose I should be grateful I have the Sol. Hendil's son succumbed so quickly. Stars damn this plague. My brother, Ewalian, was one of the first to fall to the plague. Hendil was so kind, talking to Mother, explaining things. Ewell's been in quarantine for days now with no word. She's beside herself. Now, with me having to take the salve, damn it. Reserves and seal the exits. We must be cautious. Everything's going to be fine. We're just very worried about the poor victims in the mine. Does everyone have their salve? In some cases, I'm taking a preventative stance. Hopefully, that will stop the spread of the disease. The gods thank you, as do I. There's just something not right about this. Everyone in town is so grateful to Hendil, but I don't trust him or that little toad on Moor. My youngest son's been down there for a week. Why? No, I don't. I think he's hiding something. Those mercenaries? They guard his house night and day. Please, I know you have no reason to trust me. But at least look. It's my son. I'll meet you at my home when you're done. I live just behind Hendil. And I know you must think I'm mad, but I can feel it. This is all wrong. I know, I know. I can't explain it, but the last few days it seems like people don't become sick until after Hendil gives them the salve. Or perhaps I'm just reading too much into this. Either way. They took him. They took Nelulin. Now both of my boys are locked away. What's he hiding? I'm not sure I understand all of this, but I was right. This plague, or whatever you want to call it, 
is all his fault. No idea, but it's clear. Whatever's going on has to be stopped. Please, I know you barely know me, but my sons are all I have. I don't know if I could go on if they were to... Yes, and to do that, you'll need to get past the mercenaries. The unsmiling thugs at the door won't give me the time of day. Maybe one of the others could be convinced to help you? Or maybe a disguise? I don't know. <laughs> Quite the busybody about town, aren't you? <laughs> it depends on what you want to know. I'll tell you, you mentioned quarantine. To say the truth, my coin purse isn't feeling all that well. <laughs> that it is. Your best bet is to grab one of our uniforms from the cabinet in the bunkhouse. Anyone up there is sure to be sacked out, won't notice a thing. Just don't tell him I sent you. Amor! We've got to get back before someone notices we're gone. Where am I? What happened? The quarantine? But everyone's sick down here. Am I going to die? So tired. You have to find Hendil. I don't want to die. No! Right, I'm 
like your odds. They can't find you like this. They'll kill you. Get back. Don't hurt him. It's not his fault. Please go away. I'm just trying to protect my son. Tancano, my son. He's sick. I've been trying to hide it, but everything's gone wrong. My son. He feeds off of them. Then he bends them to his will. They become his thralls. I've been bringing people down here since he first got sick. Once I find the cure, I can set everything right. I just want my son back, not this monster. Please don't hurt him. I can still make this right. I can still... The new blood smells fresh. Please, let them in. Fresh blood. And my next thrall. him. <laughs> oh, my son. I can't believe it. After everything I did to protect him. I don't know. They were under Tancano. The monster's control. I don't know what'll happen now that he's gone. All we can do is hope. I understand. I don't... I don't deserve freedom. Report me to Natanwi. She can take me in. I can't face all those families. Can I wait here? I won't run. I'll... Tie me up. I'll wait for her to come for me. My sons, what's happened? What? He's a monster! Who could do such a thing? Nelulin, did you find him? Thank the stars! Wait, what about Ewellian? He's been in there so long. No, my boy, my Ewell. And dear, where is he? Where is that bottle sniffer? Stop! Just walk away. I appreciate what you tried to do, but just walk away now. That's right. 
I'll collect Nelunin on the way out. I think maybe we'll retire to the countryside. That sounds nice. Goodbye. <laughs>